Hello and welcome to uh, this uh, quick Napoleonic update. This will be the last update for a while um, because I'm going to be concentrating on some trains. Yes, trains. Um, but I'm, all, I'm going to Ireland, come back from Ireland, do some trains. Then we've got the May painting challenge. But anyway, um, what this is about is I'm going to show you what I've done with my Prussians because the, 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 the first battalion's done now. Some other stuff that uh, I'm going to be doing uh, in the May painting challenge, and um, that's about it really. So let's go and have a look. Right then, these are the, uh, the Silesians, the uh, first battalion of the first regiment, and I believe they were the tenth regiment of the um, Prussian army. So there you go. That's uh, that's them all done. So that's eight on a base, apart from. The base with the drummer and flag bearer on that's seven on a base because the officer's there. And there you are. I'm dead chuffed with them, I think they're really good. Obviously, it's a bit of an evolution, as I think you've seen from uh, various painting styles from the first one I did right the way up to the last one I did, which is the command flag base one. Um, I'll look at a bit more detail on, the, um, on this one, so bear with me. I have some queries. Right then, so uh, first queries. I've done the drummer. He's got brass drum and he's got dragon's teeth, yellow triangles there uh, and on the bottom. Now I believe that's right, the yellow is the same because the, the Silesians have got a, the, the, the facing yellow is the facing colour. He's got uh, yellow uh, nests, swallows nests, yeah, birds nests, I don't know, swallows nests I think, um, on his arms. Other than that he's fairly the same as everybody else. Uh, I've done my flagpole, white, I was talking to uh, Fraser von Kettingham, um, and he said he thinks that it might be the first battalion of the regiment has the white pole, and the second battalion has a black pole, or they both have white poles, or in the end we decided that we didn't know. So if anybody knows about flag pole colours, whether it is the first white, the second black, or whether it it's a regimental thing, so all the Silesian regiments would have white flag poles, I don't know. So there you go. Moving on, the next thing uh, my, uh, is my officer. And the thing that I'm uncertain with with him is his epaulets. Now I've painted them with gold edging and silver medals. Uh, easily changed. I don't mind if somebody let me know. Uh, I'd be most most pleased about that. And the other thing is the flag. I can't tell the difference between that flag and the second battalion's flag. Is there any? No idea. Um, but other than that, I think I've got them sus now. Um, oh yes brown scabbards, so I painted the scabbards brown on this lot, the others have got black scabbards but it doesn't matter. Um, but I did find that out from uh, Peter Fitzgerald at Calpe. Um, so yeah, I'm well chuffed with them, I'm really pleased how they've come out. Um, and I think, I think you'll agree, they look, they look really nice together. The only other thing I've got to do on them is uh, Get some flock and stuff for the base as well, static grass. But I'm, I, I haven't got any tufts at the moment, so I want some tufts and flowers for them. So I'll do all of that later. I've got my mud base. I always paint my bases muddy colour, I don't paint them green. Uh, and I'll black line the things I like black lines around the bottom of my bases. So yeah, I think they turned out well. I'm really, really pleased. I haven't got a fancy spinning table or anything, so I'll just and bring them round. But yeah, I think they look well good. So, yeah, really nice as a unit. And uh, I've just got the uh, second battalion to do, but more on that in a moment. Okay. Okay, uh, I've got a lot of stuff in the post today. Uh, drawing inspiration from uh, Paul Alba. Uh, and his 18mm stuff, I got myself some 18mm uh, uh, AB miniatures 
Uh, these are a um, Fusiliered Battalion. And this is a squadron, well, just a pack of Ulan. And I got myself um, some foot artillery and crew. I just want to give them a go, uh, see what they like. Just, just, just to sort of, um, you know, bit of variation. You know, I do like my smaller scale stuff. Um, I think these are these are lovely detail pictures. I'm not going to get them out. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do. You're, you're going to see loads of these in May. So uh, that's that. And the reason why I'm quite pleased with them is because I got these. from um, Essex Miniatures. Now these are supposed to be um, Prussian Musketeers and without drawing too much of a finer point on it don't know whether you can see but he's got a moustache as is every other one of these got a moustache and um, I have it on good authority that Musketeers weren't allowed to have facial hair so I don't know what I can use them for uh, any uh, any ideas would be much appreciated but um, my view is if you're going to sell miniatures as something make sure there's something uh, then finally for today came in a post there's this big box now just bear with me while I unwrap this because I don't want it makes a horrible noise on the microphone um, there's a load of stuff from Calpe miniatures um okay first off I've got a six pounder cannon and uh, the crew for a six pound cannon got this miniature especially for uh, von Ketteringham had one and uh, I thought wow it's a brilliant miniature so I made sure that I got that one um I got myself some more um Musketeers in March attack because I am missing a couple off the second battalion. Uh, also, I haven't got a command unit for the second battalion, so I've got another command unit, uh, another spare NCO. So there you go. I think he might become a skirmisher. Then uh, I got some Jaegers, or in this case, uh, Shirtson, I believe they're called Silesian Jaegers, basically. Uh, there is a difference, and uh, we'll come on to that later when I start to paint them. I also, because I couldn't resist them, got myself a packet of, uh, well, a whole squadron of um, Ulan, which look absolutely incredible. So I don't know whether you can beautiful they are. So there's a squadron leader <laughs> and, his, uh, and his fellows. So that's them. And I also got myself, because once again I couldn't resist it, um, a limber for the cannon and the uh, riders of the uh, horses. So that's something that I'm looking forward to getting doing. So all this lot, excuse me, all this lot's for May, for the May painting challenge. So uh, you're going to see a lot more of them. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, like I say, the next Napoleonic stuff you'll see from me will be in May. In the whole month of May, uh, I'll be painting up uh, the stuff that I've just shown you, the, you know, the rest of the Silesians, the artillery, and the Uhlans. So there you go. And probably, or maybe, some of the uh, AB miniatures. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.